Good morning. Today we're going to work on the chapter four mid chapter checkpoint. We'll have a quiz on this information tomorrow. All right, so vocabulary. And if you needed to, you can go back and look at page 143 to help with the vocabulary here. And on number two, you can look at page 151 if you need to. So a blank of four is any product that has four as one of its factors. So it's saying something like this, four times what? So the product of any number and four. So if we said one, two, we get four, eight. So those would be multiples. A multiple of four is any product that has four as one of its factors. This is an example of the blank property. Three times eight equals three times six plus three times two. So we see that they broke up the eight into six plus two. So that's not commutative property. Commutative property is where you use the same numbers but in different order. Or so I'm sorry, same factors but in different order. So number two would be the distributed property. <clears throat> And this property states that multiplying a sum by a number is the same as multiplying each patent by the number and then adding the products. All right, number three, write one way to break apart the array and then find the product. So in this array, we have one, two, three, four, five rows. And we have seven in each row. So our problem is five times seven. So how can we break that up into two smaller factors? Here we go. <clears throat> five times five plus two. So 5 plus 2 is 7, so we're going to split up the 7. So the distributive property says that multiplying a sum, the sum here, by a number is the same as multiplying each added. 5 times 5 plus 5 times 2. 5 times 5, the product is 25, plus 5 times 2, which is 10. So the same as multiplying each add end, which we did, and then adding the products. The products of our two separate problems was 5, 25 plus 10. So 5 times 7 is 35. And number 4, I see we have 4 rows. And in each row there are 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So our original problem would be 4 times 9. So how can we split that up and making it easier to do? I would split mine into 4 times the sum of 5 plus 4. So then we're going to multiply <clears throat> 4 by both of the add-ins. So 4 times 5 plus 4 times 4. And remember that these two separate problems are this just the, the breakdown in the array. So 4 times 5, that's this section, plus 4 times 4, which is this section. 4 sets of 5 is 20. 4 sets of 4 is the same as 4 times 2, double. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 and 8 is 16. So 4 times 9 is 36. All right, number 5. 
three times one. When it says find the product, I, I just want to stop for a second. Find the product. If you do know these multiplication facts by memory, you can go ahead and answer them like that. When it just says find the product. So some of these we'll just write the answer, and in other ones we'll use some of the strategies we've learned up to this point. So three times one, that's the identity property of multiplication. So we know that that's just three. Five times six is the same as saying six times five. So six sets of five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That would be the commutative property of multiplication. Seven times seven, well, <clears throat> I know that seven times five is 35. So I can go seven times five plus seven, which will give us 42. And I can go seven times six plus seven. <clears throat> 42 plus seven is 49. So in this one, I started with a fact I knew, 7 times 5 is 35. I added the 6, 7 to get 7 times 6, which is 42. And then 7 times 6, which was the 42, plus the last 7, gives me 49. 2 times 10, I know that it has to end in a 0, and 2 times 1 is 2. Kind of washed out, huh? <clears throat> All right. Two times one, identity property of multiplication, just two. Six times six. Well, I know six times five is 30. So six times five plus one more six is 36. Eight times seven is the same as eight times five plus two. So we can use the distributive property on this problem. 8 times 5 plus 8 times 2. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 2 is 16. So 8 times 7 is 56. 6 times 0, that's the 0 property. The multiplication is 0. 3 times 8. <clears throat> 3 times 8 is 8 plus 8, which is 16, plus 8 more, 24. So I just use repeated addition for that one. All right, so it's 160. Lori saw six night lightning bugs. They each had six legs. How many legs did the lightning bugs have in all? So we have six lightning bugs, six legs in all. We would draw a picture to solve this one if we needed to. We have six rows to represent the six lightning bugs. Each lightning bug has six legs. We have six rows to represent the lightning bugs. We have six legs in all. So we have six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. 36 legs in all. Zach walked his dog twice a day for seven days. Moira walked her dog three times a day for five days. Who dog, whose dog was walked more times? How many more? So we have a comparison problem here. We have Zach and we have Moira. Zach walked his dog twice a day for seven days. So seven days would be our groups. And he walked his dog twice a day for those seven days. Moira walked her dog 
five days, but three times each of those days. So seven sets of two is 14. Five sets of three or three sets of five is 15. So Moira's dog one more time because 15 take a 14 take a 14 point. <clears throat> Annette buys four boxes of pencils there are eight pencils in the box Jordan buys three boxes of pencils with ten pencils in each box who buys more pencils how many more so Annette has four boxes of pencils eight pencils in each box so that would be four sets for four groups and eight pencils in each set. Jordan bought three boxes of pencils and there were ten pencils in each box. So he has three groups of ten. All right, well, three groups of ten, we know that we'll end in a zero. And three times one is three. So Jordan bought 30 pencils. Four times eight. 4 times 8, you can rewrite as 8 times 4. And 8 times 4 is the same as 8 times 2 doubled, so 32. So Annette has more, and she has two more pencils. So I can paint four pictures in a day. How many pictures can she paint in seven days? Four pictures in a day for seven days. So that would be seven days as your groups. And she can paint four pictures in each of those days, which is the same as saying seven times two doubled. So seven times two is 14 plus 14. She can paint 28 pictures. Okay, so that's it for our chapter review. You will have a quiz, as I mentioned, at the beginning of the video tomorrow. So <clears throat> make sure you can do all the problems through lessons 4.5. And until tomorrow, good luck.